The four races scheduled today represent a last chance for teams to make the cut. With the intense racing we've witnessed, it's going to be a thrill to see who's staying and who's going home. Wow, listen to the pressure on the start already. Plenty of, uh, plenty of fever, 35 seconds remaining on the clock. So a lot of stake, owner, yeah. Shirley struggling to get this up. This is the Boiling umpires, there. penalty Netherlands relative to Canada. You can hear the pressure, you can feel the pressure. So important to get a crucial start, we've seen that. Sweden a little early, coming down the line, losing some pace. Tight and fast start as we go racing. Race five, Group B, Pooch Women's America's Cup. It's on. What a start by the German this is the team. Second penalty, Netherlands relative to Canada. The Dutch team going to have to compose themselves here and wash that penalty off if they don't do it. Within a minute, the umpires will give them another penalty. They really need to wash that off quickly. Sail team Germany, beautiful start, lovely locked in sailing. They really need a good race. They fired off that start line. This is the umpires, Netherlands. You still have 60 metres to go for your two penalties. When Sail Team Germany exit that boundary, they will be the giveaway boat. But Canada attacking early, so all clear. Swedish team be looking to clear their air, get up the ladder rung, to that next line of pressure. Huge pressure. Look at it coming down on the right hand side of the track. This is the umpires, Netherlands. You have a third penalty, not taking your penalties within one minute. Oh, terrible Netherlands error. So top gate for the first time, leg one of four, race five, group in the Pooch Women's America's Cup. And it's the Swedish challenge powered by Artemis Furthrup, followed by AC Team Germany, who need points. They're sitting at the bottom of the table and they are struggling to get around. Concord Pacific Racing also. They need points. A big haul here would certainly help them going forward and do Team Australia come through. Yayu Team Dutch Sail. On a day when they needed to minimise mistakes, they've been caught out in race five, but still a long way to go. All about sailing the pressure well in these conditions. It's a high speed game of dot to dot. Just lining up, you see Swedish here just getting carted down in Germany, a massive boat handling error. Big spin out by the German team. They'll be disappointed after being right at the front of the fleet. Yes, it's out here for now. Full rebuild for them. Not sure what happened there. They did a full 360. Probably a loss of the rudder there. I'm sure we'll get some footage at some point, but you just see the lead boats there absolutely be there. Canada also in the water, not flying. Huge holes in this racetrack. Just a reminder, those green lines that you can see above the nation means they are in the three. So they're above the cut line, which means if it stays like this for the rest of the day, they go through to Friday's semi-finals. Red is not good. And right now, uh, Sail Team Barcelona, who started the day in second position, are now below the cut line. Oh, the Canadians. Full cap size for Canada. Absolutely. Okay, you're on rotation here. Super close to rolling that boat on its side. Doing a good job to get the foils down. That was as close to a cap size as we've seen. Serious. Let's have a look at it again. Yep. And that's a 
bit of a car crash. Full ventilation there, getting high. Brace, brace, brace. That's exactly what they did, but they managed to save the, the yacht from the capsize. Full of water. Absolutely as close as you get there to rolling the AC-40 over. Both boards down, allowing that lower centre of mass to just keep the boat on its feet. They were doing 31 knots to going backwards four knots. All four Are you team Dutch sail complete leg number three? If this stays the same way and they finish in position three, they will still lead the group, but it'll only by a solitary point. It is so packed in Group B. Sail Team Barcelona coming through. They're just, and I mean just, below the cut line as it stands. But how about this? Just smooth. That's all you can say. No mistakes, clean race. And the Swedish challenge wins race five and goes above the cut line. Stand by in two, one, dropping board. Look at this. Look how tight this is. How tight could it be? You get the feeling it's going to be super tight for that third spot. We will watch and see as the next three races unfold here off the coast of Barcelona.